Hey, everybody. So, this week we are talking about the gingerbread man, which is always super fun. Oh, wait. I forgot I could take this off. Nobody's in here. Or nobody's near me. Okay, so we're going to read this story called The Gingerbread Man. Okay? And let's see. So that's the title and the name of our story. And it was illustrated. So the pictures were drawn by Gail Urelli. Okay? So let's read it and find out what happens with this crafty old gingerbread man. Or crazy old gingerbread man. All right. Once upon a time... A little old man and a little old woman lived in a cottage near the river. One morning, the little old woman decided to bake a gingerbread man as a special treat. The little old woman would mix together all the ingredients to make a gingerbread man, or to make gingerbread dough. Then she rolled out the dough flat. Woo, this Franco can't read today. Uh-oh, let's try that again. Then she rolled the dough out flat and used a cutter to make it into the shape of a little man. Finally, she made some icing for his eyes, mouth, and she gave him three current buttons, one, two, three, and a cherry for a nose. The gingerbread man was ready to be baked. Half an hour later, the gingerbread man was baked and the little old woman opened the oven. Suddenly, the gingerbread man jumped up and ran out through the kitchen door. Stop! cried the little old woman rushing after him. I want to eat you. But the gingerbread man wouldn't stop. He didn't want to be eaten. I don't blame him. I wouldn't want to be eaten either. He said, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man, he chanted. The gingerbread man ran past the little old man. Stop! cried the little old man. I want to eat you! But the gingerbread ran. man ran even faster. I run away from a little old woman and I'll run away from you. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man, he chanted. The little old man and the little old woman chased the gingerbread man into the yard, but he was too fast. As he ran, he passed a pig. Stop, snorted the pig. I want to eat you. But the gingerbread man ran even faster. I've run away from a little old woman and a little old man, and I can run away from you, he said. So run, run as fast as you can. Can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man, he chanted. The pig chased the gingerbread man, followed by the little old man, and the little old woman. The gingerbread man ran past a cow by the barn. Stop, moved the cow. I want to eat you. I've run away from the little old woman and the little old man and pig, and I can run away from you, the gingerbread man cried. Run, run as fast as you can. Can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man, he chanted. The cow, the pig, and the little old man and the little old woman all chased the gingerbread man. But the gingerbread man was too fast. The gingerbread man raced past a horse in the field. Stop, neighed the horse. I want to eat you. I run away from the little old woman, the little old man, a pig and a cow, and I can run away from you, he said. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man, he chanted. The horse chased the gingerbread man followed by the cow, the pig, the little old man, and the little old woman. But the gingerbread man was too fast. Then the gingerbread man reached the river and stopped. The sparkly water swirled in front of him. Oh no, he cried. I can't swim. How will I get across? Hmm. Let's see what happens. A sly and hungry fox saw the gingerbread man. He licked his lips. Jump onto my tail and I'll take you across the river, he said. So the gingerbread man jumped onto the fox's tail. Mm, that fox looks awfully hungry. After swimming halfway, the fox said, you're too heavy for my tail. Jump onto my back. 
So the gingerbread man ran along the fox's bushy tail and jumped onto his back. After a while, the fox cried, you're too heavy for my back. Jump onto my nose. So the gingerbread man jumped onto the fox's nose. But as soon as they reached the riverbank, the fox flipped the gingerbread man up in the air and snapped his mouth shut and gobbled him up. And that was the end of the gingerbread man. The end. <laughs> kind of a fast ending, right? That's it. But gingerbread men are cookies, right? And cookies were made to be eaten. So the fox got to be the lucky one because he was clever and sly and got to eat the gingerbread man when everybody else missed their chance. It's a fun story, right, guys? Okay, I hope you have fun doing all of our gingerbread man themed activities this week. I'll see you guys later. Bye.